hello guys welcome to another video and today we are going to be looking at a wonderful piece of software you already know me i enjoy some wonderful softwares that i get to meet and i always come and share them with you right here every time i see something very beautiful so today we are going to be looking at a wonderful small tool i really think everybody should have on his computer i'm surprised why this tool is not more popular than this but i guess because people don't know about it and so this tool is called everything and it's a little piece of software that i find very interesting and so this is actually a search tool that was created by some developers and it has a very powerful search algorithm which works even better than the default microsoft search tool and so we are going to be looking at it today so it's called everything you can download it on their website i think it's everything.org you can check it out in google search but basically what this tool allows you to do is to search your entire computer very very fast so it's able to go through all of the files on your computer and you're able to see them in some lightning speed and when i say lightning speed i mean less than a second you get a result on every file a search on every file on your computer so no matter where it's found you're able to locate it very very fast and so we are going to test out this tool and we're going to see how it works so everything this is the interface here is as simple as this you, you have your search bar here and that's pretty much everything there is to the application so you just have to type in your search term so we are going to be searching through my computers to see some of the even the most hidden files in my computer and we're going to see how fast this software is able to locate them so let's go ahead and open some files so as you can see here we are just going to use some wordpress files so i have an installation of wordpress here and so wordpress does have a lot of files in a lot of subdirectories so you can see here the full path to the wordpress installation right now it's found in just two we are found in just two folders nothing more so we are going to maybe search for a particular file and see if it's able to locate it and so definitely there are many files in my computers which might have the same name so we'll try to find some unique files which don't all have the same name so if i enter into the wordpress directory and so let's go with the dot ht access file let's see if it's able to locate this file so you go ahead and type that ht access so as you can see there are a lot of files in my computer with that name dot ht access but it was able to locate that particular file and here is the path as you can see this is it w wamp 64 three w's and then wordpress is the exact same path that you can see here and so if you go here you can right click and open the path and it's going to take you to that folder so since i was already in the folder it just brought the window back into the foreground so that's it so you can see that is the exact same file and as you notice it took just it didn't even take a second for it to load all these results so it went through all my computer and found all the files which have that name so in comparison let's do a search with the default microsoft search tool and so if i search for dot ht access here as you can see no files it wasn't able to find anything that's crazy while well, the file is just right here so if i come to documents the same thing no results found so i don't know if microsoft search tool is not able to get into this directory i don't understand what the problem is so let's just go ahead and go into multiple directories and see a little bit so I'll, i'm going to go in here maybe let's go into um, plugins for example and really go into multi multiple levels of files of folders so yes for example we were here let's go ahead and choose a file that may be unique so let's go with metabox for example and so take note of the speed at which it searches it's really blazing fast so as i'm typing it's already getting results and so there are so many files which have that name so it's crazy but it's able to find all these files in a record amount of time so let's just try to find a file that might be unique might have a, a unique name so let me just try to find something like that i'm going to get into different plugins and i'm looking for something with kind of a unique name something that is not going to be common everywhere so for example let's go with this file for example it might have a unique name so we go ahead and copy the name and then we are going to paste it here so as you can see it found all the results in less than a second 
I'm doing this in real time. You can see founding a result in less than a second. And did it find our file? So when you look at the path here, it's in the plugins folder and it's, it's right deep down. So we come here, we're going to look for this path and here it is. It's exactly this. So you have the WordPress installation, the WP content plugins, Forminator, admin, views, custom form, and pop up. So you can really compare this part here and this part, and you see that they are exactly the same. So if I go ahead and right click and open this part, you see it just brings this window in the foreground. So can you see how amazing this search is? John, in, in less than a second, is able to locate all files. And take note of how many subfolders these files are in so it's look how long the path is so each of these names is each of these names separated by a slash is a folder so this is like into 10 levels down of folders but it was able to locate that file so maybe you might say to yourself that okay maybe he already has a database of all the files and he just looks through the names and get the path so let's go ahead and create for example a new folder let's call it random then you go ahead in that folder and create a new file for example so new file let's just go with the text documents and ju let's just call it something kind of unique um let's just call it world like this dot txt and then save that so i think that name is really unique and so let's just go ahead and search for that here and so what would you know so we have the file has been located this is it right here world.txt.txt so i added two extensions so you see it's been able to locate the file in a blazing amount of time like in less than a second it's able to locate a new file that i just created and how many levels deep look at all these folders inside all of these folders it was able to locate that file so this software is really really amazing just in comparison for example let's search using the microsoft's default search tool and so we go ahead and search for world.txt it's not able to find anything in documents it's still not able to find anything so i don't understand how this software is doing it better than the default microsoft search so i definitely think everybody should have this piece of software in his computer it's really going to help you to search through all of your files in an amazing amount of time you won't have to worry about where the files are located and in just a couple of seconds it's going to find it it really searches through all of your computer everything so wherever your files are found it's able to really go through them and really find all those things so it's an amazing tool and so let's just try it a little more maybe go into different folders and try to see and so yeah we are in here for example let's go ahead and create another file and see if it's able to locate it okay so let's go with something just anything random and so let's try that out and try to find that file so as you can see it just found it here it is it just found it a file i just created and so it also finds as well all the files that may contain the string you see and it finds different files formats it's not just text but you see here this is a video this is a video and it was able to find it so definitely i'm sure we all have a lot of files on our computers which do different things and sometimes it might be very hectic to go through searching for them manually so with this tool you are able to search through all of your files in a blazing amount of time so i hope everybody can check this wonderful piece of software out so i hope you enjoyed the video catch you on the next one